remember that even the process of light and shade is lawful. There is no aspect of rendering that isn't lawful. That, that meaning that you can't find a point of reference to work from. Uh, a person that doesn't use law will never be able to render drawings accurately. When you use the law, you control the size and relationships of objects. And I'll show you how to maintain relationships and proportions as we gain more and more experience. This is a top view of a circle divided into several segments of equal distance. When the lines are brought down to the foreground of the ring, you'll notice that they're getting closer to one another as we approach the end on both sides. This same concept can be used in putting your shading and knowing what values to use in each segment. This is the same process described over and over again. You'll notice that these lines are getting closer and closer as we approach the end of the bowl. We varied the shape somewhat so you can see the emphasis on the lines. In the middle, the line is straight. On the right, it's curved toward this shape, and on the left side, we change the direction of the curvature. That helps you control the shading. The shading runs up to the lines, and so you keep easing on your pressure. Or if you're working with paint, you begin to thin out the shading so that it starts dark, whether it's dark green or dark gray. You lighten the gray as you go into these different areas. Where it's light, you darken the inside. Where it's dark, you lighten the inside. This will help bring out the shape and form of the object you're drawing.